Welcome back to Sip the Telefilm. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today I want to recap the first real day of practice. Because once the pads come on, that's when football really, really starts. And running around in helmets and shoulder pads with just shorts on, that's football, that's good work. But when the pads come on, full pads, and you can get some real hitting going on, especially up front, that's when practice really, really starts. So what I'm going to do is go through the different uh, reports that came out and kind of get a, a general idea of what happened today and what went on and give you my two cents about what I read and what I saw. So let's jump right into it and get started off of what I was able to pick up and what I was able to find via the Twitterverse. All right, let's start off with this right here. Got a little video clip from some offensive line, and that's the most interesting thing about the offense, um, who's going to start and, and where they're going to play on the offensive line. So this little clip right here from uh, Jonah Schaefer it says some offensive line rotations we could see. Okay, and that's just a little drill, little sled drill where they're working on uh, staying low and coming out. But that part, not concerning me. What concerns me is who's out there. And for one, you see at left tackles, Ronnie. At uh, left guard, you see Voorhees at center. That's uh, Linda Bum at right guard, you see Falele. Then at right tackle, you see McCart. So that's, you know, maybe they're the ones now. I'm, I'm sure they are mixing and matching right now, but. Interesting first first look right there. You see uh, Rosengarten behind Macari right there. Uh, you see Salah maybe behind Falele. I can't tell who that who that second guy is behind Voorhees. Maybe that's Cleveland. I can't really see that number. Let's, let's let it play. 76 center. And that's Cleveland getting in the sled behind, behind Voorhees. So if we're looking at it, if 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 this was a depth chart. Thing right now, Cleveland would be the second guard behind Voorhees. Uh, Falele starting at right guard right now, right as of right now. But let's let's move on. Let's move on. All right, this is from Jameson Hensley. He says, uh, "Ravens on pass for the first time." It's just a little drill work. Nothing spectacular about that. That first clip really gave us an indication of what they're starting with. And another, another, um, pretty much the same clip, but just from a different person. This is from Jonah. The last one was from Jameson. This is from the Ravens official. Like some DBs hitting the sled. I think this is DBs. That's yeah, DBs. Got Marcus right there. You got Trayvon Mullen. Can't tell who that is. Uh, Darius Washington right there coming right at us. Marcus Williams right there at us. Marlette. Uh, Jalen Loma Davis. Just working on getting off blocks. That's all they're doing. Like a wide receiver trying to block them. They're working off seeing the ball and getting off the block. Simple drill. DB's got to get off blocks to make them tackle. That's all that's, that's, all that's working. Look like Project Pat right here. Pat Ricard pushing the sled. That is Charlie Kolar. He's tight in getting sled work. Mark. Likely right here. Hmm. Everybody moved with ease except for likely a little bit. But we know what like we know what likely brings to the table. We already know what likely brings to the table. That thing about leverage. If you don't get low on it, it won't move. <laughs> If you don't get low and build up on it, it won't move. It's a lot, it's a lot harder to move than you think. Let's see what else we got. Got Mark working on his routes. Good footwork from Mark. All right, we got four clips from John. It says some defensive practice reps from undercutting receivers to attacking. I should I probably should say double teams to pass rush moves. So right, let's start right here. Right, I'm cutting receivers right there. Give me, give me a 
a second get you a better view. It's a better view on this one. Working on uncutting a shallow route. Hit Loma Davis. Hey, Wiggins. Who's 39? Who's 39? Let me know who's 39. Not bad, not bad. Let's see what else he got for. That BK attacking, attacking the dope. I'm looking for a good. Looking for at least 10 sacks out of Matt BK this year. At least. Minimum 10 sacks. Love how you're attacking that upfield shoulder and splitting the double. Attack it. A little arm pressed out. Textbook right there. Textbook. Textbook. Got to foul. Got to foul off and bring it to the offensive lineman. Can't let the offensive lineman dictate, dictate his, his uh, path. Block destruction. There you go. Be violent with it. Be violent with it. Let's see what's up next. This pass rush move. Working on multiple pass rush moves and putting them in the same drill. This is where they get to work both of their swings. For both arms. See big Travis looking nimble. Travis looking nimble up there. Different set of people. Yeah. Same thing, just a different set of people. BK. Pierce. T Rob. Play them up. Alright, we got some just some words here. Kyle Phoenix. He says, uh, practice ended. Early, as Harborough gave the offense three chances to score from the four-yard line, it took one play for Devin Leary. Oh, did they fade ball to Devontae Walker, who beat Nate Wiggins for a touchdown? Okay, that's um, that's one way to to put 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 competition into practice. Give the offense a chance to hey practice in early if you, if you score from the four. That makes that makes practice a lot more lively. It breaks the monotony of just going through the motions, and it, it gives them something to play for. Uh, the fact that Tez and, and Nate constantly battling each other, they battled each other in college. Uh, there's some good tape of Clemson versus uh, North Carolina, um, where early in the game, Tez got Wiggins. I think late in the game, Wiggins got Tez on a uh, interception. So if you know, go back and watch that North Carolina versus Clemson game, you can see them two guys go they go head to head versus that. And for them to go, you know, back and forth versus each other in camp, that's a good thing because you don't want the offense to win all the time and you don't want the defense to win all the time. You want them to get each other better. So iron can always sharpen iron. Let's see what else we got. Uh Kyle Phoenix also says defense did what they did did what they do again today. A couple of interceptions and Zach Orr sent blitzes that scrambled the front and open free rushes. I will say this though. I will say this. When when camp normally opens, whether it be high school, college, or pros, the defense normally is in front of the offense. Normally. And it probably takes the offense a week or two to hit to get their stride and start going back and forth. And, you know, at almost any level of, of football, the defense kind of comes out with a little more fire than the offense. It, it normally takes the offense, you know, a couple of more days to, to get themselves together. And I don't know why that is, but it just, in 20 plus years of doing this, the defense is always ahead of the offense, you know, when camp first opens, especially the first day of pass, especially the first day of pass. All right, something from Jeff. It says, a few offensive highlights today. Uh, Aguilar nearly took a slant for a long TD. Uh, he believe Wiggins caught him inside the five. I can see that because Wiggins is light and fast. Uh, likely caught a TD pass. The defense had his way. A lot of free runners to the QB. Worley, Bump Cooper Jr., and Sanusi Kane had interceptions. Worley's was a pick six. Ah, too many, still getting a lot of interceptions from the quarterbacks. But again, uh, I know Lamar didn't practice again today. 
Uh, so whatever he has, you know, I just hope he gets better soon. But it's still a lot, of, a lot of picks from the from um, the three quarterbacks. That's Leary, that's Johnson, and that's uh, Emory. A lot of picks coming from those three guys. Uh, Kyle puts up seven round picks. Nusi Kane got his first interception. We just talked about that. Darryl Worley really got a pick six on Devin Leary. Leary. Uh, Jeff says first minor altercation of camp as Justice Hill. And Trent Simpson got into it after Hill picked up Simpson on a blitz. Ronnie Stanley quickly got in the middle of it and broke it up. Well, I'm just happy Justice Hill picked somebody up on a blitz. Because we can remember in a lot of film studies last year that Justice Hill was just whiffing people on, on blitz pickup. So hopefully, it's, you know, he looked at film and realized I at least got to touch somebody. And maybe him touching Trent Simpson is the first time he realized I got to pick somebody up on blitz pickup. Because that's a lot of times he whiffed. Last year in Blitz pickup and and put our quarterback in jeopardy. Next we got uh John says he doesn't know if it's real. Yeah. John said he doesn't know if it's realistic to have a start no line established before the first preseason game. Uh okay. Okay. Well, if not the first preseason game, definitely the second, because they need time to to grow, get some continuity with each other and learn each other's tendencies and and just learn how to play off each other. Because mixing and matching throughout the whole preseason, that ain't going to fly. Then you got to get you five guys and stick with it. Got to. And um, it was some other stuff that was said. I don't really want to go into the, the verbal, like pulling out, the, you know, what they said in the press conference and whatnot. I also know they they um interviewed Joe D, who's one of the guys that I feel like puts on the fire this, this camp with, with, um, Introducing three new guys, so he really got to be on his game this this week. I'm gonna go back and see what Joe D said when he was being interviewed today. Um, I didn't catch it because I was watching the opening ceremonies for the Olympic Games. So I'm gonna go back and check out what Joe D said. And so if that's all I got for you today, this is the first real day of pad practice for me because it's the first day of pads. And so um, if you have not liked the video, please do so. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified when the rest of these videos drop. Got another practice tomorrow. I'll make sure I report on what I find for that. And I appreciate y'all, man. And I'll see y'all soon. Peace and love.